Welcome to WebStyle Press. Sometimes you want to protect your JavaScript code from stealers or attackers. And sometimes you want to showcase an app, but you want the user to not copy the code for obvious reasons. I got a tutorial request to show how can we easily protect JavaScript code. So here it is. I have this HTML page and I have got uh, custom.js linked with it. This is my JavaScript code. This is pretty much readable. Anybody can read it and use it. So I have a function in this file that just toggles a content and the output is here. You can toggle a content here. There are no console errors. And we want to protect this code. So one way is to protect the code is to minify the file. Keep the source and share minified version of your code. There are many online tools available to minify the code. Your favorite code editor can also minify a code for you. We have minification tutorial for this, so go check it out. And uh, if I show you this, you can minify the file. And here is the minified version. So this is definitely not readable without spaces and uh, it doesn't make much sense. This is the original code and this is the minified code. And if I comment my original file and link with the minified version and it still works. In console, no errors. So one way is to minify your code and uh, sometimes you have to share the actual code. You can use any JavaScript obfuscator tool. There are many such tools online that give you option to customize output. It won't protect your code 100%, but it will give your code enough protection to give stealers hard time to figure it out. You can use parts of your code to make it not so easily readable. Keep the source to yourself and share the protected code. For example, I want to protect this code here. Let's copy this code. And here is an obfuscator tool. Paste the code here and obfuscate it. And here is our output. Copy it. I am commenting the original code. And I have used this new code here. This is also not much readable. This doesn't make much sense, but it will work. I have saved this file and I am linking the original file back custom.js. So now this file is linked with this code and uh, this example is still working. And in console, there are no errors. So there are two methods that you can use to quickly protect your code. One way is minification. You can minify your original JavaScript file. And the second way is use any online tool to protect your JavaScript code. I hope you like this tutorial. Give it a thumb up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.